All right, guys, here we are. I'm so excited. We are going to do a Southern Swamp um, instrumental cue. Um, they're also called kind of like Southern Gothic. Now, these kind of like instrumental cues are used, uh, gosh, whenever, you, <laughs> whenever you're on Discovery Channel and you've got uh, someone chasing a gator around the swamp or, uh, you know, those fishing channels, um, uh, anything that's kind of like to do with the South, even like, you know, rednecks or uh, now these kind of tracks could also be used for like, you know, America's uh, Funniest Home Videos when they've got like uh, some Southern kind of thing, maybe some guys in some pickup trucks uh, doing some mud trucking or, you know, any of this kind of like Southern kind of stuff. So, so um, I'm going to, we're going to dive straight in and we're going to, we, I'm, you, <laughs> you're going to get a ton of information. You're going to probably want to replay this a few times because uh, I, go, I move pretty fast. Um, you know, I think we could probably do this whole song from zero tracks to um, to mix and master and ready to send off to a publisher probably within within two hours. I think we're going to be able to do it in two hour, two hours. Now, um, of course, you can spend more time if you want, if you want to tweak things and if you want to add things. And, and you'll probably hear me as we go. We'll probably talk about I'll probably say things like that. Hey, you know, we, um, you know, you could spend a little bit more time doing this, this, and this. And, um, but basically, you know, it's, uh, it's up to you how creative you want to get and how much extra little bells and whistles you want to get um, or, or put into it. So, but let's go ahead and dive in. What I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to share you my, uh, share with you my drum, uh, my drum setup, because I, with these kind of cues, because they're kind of, uh kind of like southern kind of um band kind of arrangements like it's more of a like a you would hear this in a band kind of thing meaning you got drums you've got bass you've got electric guitars you've got acoustic guitars and a melody instrument which is going to be the slide uh slide uh lap, lap steel slide so um so yeah so and i'm going to show you all my plugins and um uh, but yeah, get ready to <laughs> push push pause a lot and take down notes or rewatch things. That's totally okay. Um, yeah, let's dive in. Let's get our swamp on. Hey, <laughs> awesome. Okay, here we go. Let me share my screen and uh, let's dive into it here. Okay, so now you're probably going to be able to hear um, uh, when I'm doing the um, when I'm doing the the drum setup here and when I'm doing the um, uh the the instruments you're not going to be able to hear the actual clear audio as you would hear on a um uh i'm not going to be able to share the sound from my computer it's actually going to be uh, shared via speakers so uh, it's not you, when you first hear it and you're still going to you're going to think of that and it's like what's well, not as clear that's okay i just want to show you what i'm doing and then in the second part of this when we get to the mixing you're going to see my screen and it's going to be crystal clear and you'll be able to see everything. And so, uh, but the first part, for some reason, technology is not up to it yet where you can't um, actually push record on the same computer, push record and be doing a share screen and use the same sound clouds and uh, sorry, the, the sound, the same sound cards. Uh, anyway, so they will get there one day. I'm sure of it, but not just yet. So here we go. So let's dive in okay so the first thing i've got is i've got my um you you got to set this up and now obviously to save time you could even set all this up as a template so um uh here we go so this is the drums i this is one of my favorites addictive drums it sounds really really good i really like uh, addictive drums uh the, the drum skits just sound really really cool so uh this is i'm gonna go with this one uh black velvet so now we go to a beat because we want to find a groove that we like so uh let's push play Okay, so what I'm doing here um, is I'm just trying to find a beat. Um, you can go through tutorials on um, addictive drums and, and dive right into it if you like. Uh, but um, but um, I'm actually just going to scan around. Uh, I like to just set this at four 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 um, uh, four four time signature because that's what most that's what this song is in. Um, let's try 10, 10 BPMs either way. Uh, category. Let's do uh, let's do. Um, Let's do indie alternate, see what comes up there.
Okay, cool. So my tempo, uh, that's where I want about 82. I'm going to go up to 85. I'm just feeling a little bit more. Uh, let's just bump it up a little bit more. I love it, love it. So there's two beats there. I love both of them. Um, I'm going to grab that clap one, and then I'm going to grab the grab the tom percussion. And uh, I'm also looking here. This is a preview. I love that. It's called Massive A. Uh, it's one of these things. They're probably about twenty bucks. I'm I'm big in that. I'm like I'm liking that a lot. So so um, I'll have to uh, click on this later on and uh, remember that. But I like that massive. That instantly I loved it. So. That's it right there. So that's how I'm going to start the song. So let's put it up here on my MIDI track. And then I also want that second one as a different flavor in here. So, so here we go. Let's uh, bring this over down back to the start. You know what? So um, I actually liked this as a beginning. I was actually thinking it as putting uh, like a part A in and then having a down part for the part B and then going back into a part A that's just a little bit bigger. But I actually like that as a start. So um, I'm actually going to um, let me let me move this around. I think I might even do that two times at the beginning uh, and then for the picture slide. Then for the uh, uh, for that down part, what I might do. Uh, and I'm also looking at the clock here. This is about one minute. I wanted about 1.30, so I'm looking over around here. So I could, could actually go a little bit longer. So what I'm gonna do here is move this up here. Um, let's just double this again. So um, let me move this over here, whoops. All right, there we go. So now this part here, I'm just going to do a, um, I knew it, so I didn't quite go all the way. So right here, what was that copy? One, two, three, four, uh, right here. And, but I'm gonna take these kicks out. So I mean, not the kicks, I'm gonna take the snares and the hats out. So it's just gonna be kick on these parts. We don't need that. Great, so that's fine for me. So, um, so this up, we're off to a great start. So um, now, so we've got our, I'm looking at here, we're gonna kind of like start. I do like to start with a fill, not always, but these, these kind of songs all do kind of start, sound good with a full fill. So you listen. So it should be more of a da 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 da. Actually, I'm gonna give a. That's it. That's fun. That's it. That's what we want. So um, let's do that. So then we just um, we've got our um, you got your beginning. It's going to be a big open riff, uh, and then I'm going to go into uh, kind of four. Uh, I guess whatever these are two, four, six, eight eight measures of more of a jam, um, two measures of, or I should say four measures of a part B section, which is gonna be down, like just meaning 
a couple of open chords, uh, maybe just to, it's just going to bring the dynamics down. And then we're going to come back to the kind of the start and then back uh, and out. So I might even chop some of these. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, so that's the drums. Oops. So that's the drums. So now uh, let me just quickly show you before we start recording. Let me quickly show you what I uh, are some of the go to and you'll see this in the mixing, but uh, I love um, for my electric guitars. I love um, uh, Chris Lord Algie's um, guitars right there. So these are great and you can always pretty much I even leave it set and then just go to crunch turn the amplifier on crank it up a little bit. This gets you if it's in the red or if it's in the war red, warmer colors. Uh, it's driving the preamps and it's it's pushing the amps, which is good. So this is okay to have it in red there or close to it. But we'll, we'll come back to that. So um, I often like to put a tuner beforehand. Um, where is my tuner? Right here. You can use any tuner, whatever's good, whatever you've got. So now I'm just going to copy that down for the acoustic, uh, the tuner and the slide and the bass. Now, um, uh, with the uh, with the slide, I do like the same. Just let's just in the mixing, we can kind of um, uh, we can change these. But this is going to sound great for just getting up and going. I'm I'm probably going to turn up some of this, uh, some of the reverbs and um, some of the stuff. But this is great to get going, just to get started. So uh, acoustics, um, yep, just need a tuner. I like to record the acoustics very kind of dry uh, and very clean, just just straight in with no effects. Slide, I usually record with the um, with that uh, plug-in on. Uh, bass is nice and clean and dry as well. So uh, we're gonna go in this order again. Um, we're gonna go, uh, um, uh, maybe I won't, maybe I'll do acoustic first. I think I'll do drums, acoustic, then I'll do bass, then I'll do uh, electrics and then slide. Let's try that. So that's basically the effects or the plugins I have uh running when i go to record so so let's jump over now um i'm going to stop this video and then we'll jump over and uh you'll just be able to hear me go through all these takes but before i do that i'll, I'll just tell you now um, so before before i do that i'll just tell you that so i don't know what i'm gonna i don't i don't know what i'm gonna come up with um i've noted that i've decided to uh drop d so we're gonna go drop d again this genre is very heavy in the drop d so um my acoustic guitar is going to be, everything's going to be a drop D. So uh, if you're a guitarist, you know what that means. So um, you just tune the top string E all the way down to D. And you can play a few different things. And it sounds a little different. So, so uh, yeah, let us start. So um, I'll stop this video and we'll go to the one uh, where you are on my side watching. <laughs> all right, here we go. 